What's up lads, you're with Budget Monk. Welcome to another episode of Basically EU4. Today we're going to be talking about carpet sieging. So I wanted to make some content which would be useful uh, regardless of the Leviathan DLC, whether you are planning on that patch or not. That's what I'm aiming for. And basically the story behind this here is uh, I had actually seen people do this myself via streaming content and so on. And even witnessing it, I was not sure exactly how to implement this myself until actually somewhat recently. But so therefore I know how difficult it can be to effectively utilize the hotkeys. Um, so I was going to make a video about hotkeys or shortcuts as they're called. But it dawned on me that, you know, pressing S to split or uh, K to consolidate or J to drill is not much more useful than just simply seeing the shortcut over what most things you are going to actually click on. Uh, and my advice would be to learn various shortcuts a little bit at a time. So, for example, you can press N to select generals and N to deselect your general. That is a good one, I find, to reduce tedium with your left hand instead of your mouse. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about the carpet sieging, which I find probably most useful of all. So for people who don't understand, a carpet siege is to sort of meticulously like rolling out a blanket across Hungary, going for each occupation. That's sort of the uh, definition. There are some scenarios we're going to be attacking Poland here today, and I have uh, gone ahead and sabotaged him by deleting his forts and his units and so on to make this a clear demonstra demonstration. There are going to be scenarios where you would maybe stack white Poland here on this mountains fort, for example and you would want to quickly rush out as his army is dead and gone and you can see that he's reinforcing but he's very vulnerable and quickly rush out and siege his country but this is more in particular for the uh, late game with a nation like Muscovy it would be a very effective strategy uh, let's get right into things here I'm just going to use the Humiliate CB and like I said I uh, sabotage his diplomacy and everything so what you're going to want to do is select your units and press S but you're actually just going to hold S down and then keep reselecting. So we're going to do this one more time really quickly here. I was trying to demonstrate it to you. That's how quickly you can split your stack into one regiment. They all consist of one regiment. So just hold S and just keep selecting. Now that that is the case, we're going to basically take advantage of this here, which is to close pressing V. So if we have our army selected and we press V, it deselects. But if we have two units selected and we press V, it only deselects one of them. So it does one at a time. If we select two and press V twice, it deselects them both. So we're going to go ahead and break them all down into individual stacks. And I'm going to click on one province and then press V twice and by pressing V twice you can see we're now controlling 24 units which means when I click on another province two are still going to this province here and you're going to want to use two ideally in most circumstance because if you send one unit to each province they most likely are going to take an attrition hit in an enemy territory and then fall below one regiment which is the minimum required to actually occupy a province so it's going to end up taking almost two months to occupy one province unless you uh, send two. So in most circumstances, you're going to be wanting to press two. So to reiterate, what I'm doing is clicking on the province and then pressing V twice. So I know it's a bit awkward, but I'm going to describe my clicks. I right click, V, V, right click, V, V, right click, V, V. That's what's happening. And we're left with two units here so one more time from the top g is to um reunite all of your units i'm going to press s right click v so you can see you can do it at a pretty fast rate when you're um used to it and that's what's happening here Alright guys, so 
that's obviously a pretty good demonstration in my book. Um, I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys them spreading out, but naturally, as one makes an occupation, you would select them and move them on to other provinces. In most cases, there's going to be sort of small areas in which you would be doing this. Like maybe you would send a sort of small carpet siege out to carpet siege that down with a stack to sit on the fort that begins here, preventing these from flipping back, while sending the majority of your army to deal with these forts and areas that are behind enemy forts protected where he will continue to reinforce from. Uh, obviously, again, maybe in the late game against a nation like Russia or a Horde, there will be areas in which you can carpet siege to this extent, but I just wanted to demonstrate the principle there. Uh, so a nice quick one for you guys. I hope that that benefits you. And I wanted to make an announcement basically that I've been streaming pretty consistently at around 6 p.m. GMT time. So I've been streaming about five days a week. So if people want to watch me live, uh, I happen to be playing the greatest game of all time right now. It's pretty hilarious. And I hope to see you there or live in the next video.